So this is Lethal Alexander. He is a five-year-old 16 one-hand off-the-track thoroughbred from Arizona Downs. And when I first saw his sale ad, I just loved his build. He's stockier than most of the other off-the-track thoroughbreds. And actually, at first glance, I thought he was one of the off-the-track quarter horses. But it turned out he was a thoroughbred. And so I sent an inquiry to the lady who helped sell all the thoroughbreds up at Arizona Downs. And it turned out she had a trailer headed from Arizona to Washington in two days. So then I had to make the decision if I really wanted him shipped all the way up to Washington. Um, so lots of like, do I want an off the track thoroughbred as my next horse? I'd been looking for another project. For a while, I sold off all my summer projects and finished up all the Mustang makeovers. So I just had my donkey, um, a rehab project, and my main horse. So I'd been looking. And then, so, you know, for a few days, I was hemming and hawing. And then I get a text that the um, hauler is coming early. And so I make the last decision, like, I want him, throw him on the trailer. Um, and then he got shipped all the way up to Washington, and we picked him up. So we just met at the Emerald Downs parking lot, and I wasn't really sure what to expect. Um, his ad had said that he needed a confident person, and I've done lots of feral horses and mustangs, but never an off-the-track thrower, but I've helped with some. Um, but he just unloaded great from the trailer and seemed really calm. He's probably tired from his trip. And then he went and he had to look at the trailer for a minute, but then hopped right in, which was way better than I was expecting. I was expecting a big blowy dragon. So yeah, steps right in. He does a great job. So yeah, I'm just very excited about this horse. Um, getting to know him and his personality. And he just stood great in the trailer the whole ride home. No silly business. So when we got home, I unloaded him. And he was a little bit nervous, but did really well. Um, so I bought him completely sight unseen. So, you know, you have really no idea what to expect. Um, all we got was a couple sentence paragraph all about him. So it's really interesting to see the horse's true personality. Like you can make up what you think they're going to be like in your head, but you have no idea until you get them. And he was just so much calmer than I expected. You know, when you get a race horse, you expect a horse that's just constantly ready to go, go, go. Um, but he was really like respectful of me for how big he was. Um, Oh, you can see right here, he's ha he can't figure out where the end of the trailer is. But, yeah, I just really, from the start, liked his personality. He seemed like a sensible horse who wasn't going to lose his head. Yeah, he was a lot bigger than I'm used to. All my Mustangs, and even my main horse, is like 14-2 hands, so... 16-1 was a big jump, but he didn't feel, like, intimidating or anything like that. He was just tall. <laughs> oh, and here he is all settled in.